Hi everyone, welcome to our today's lesson. We will look at attributes of food and beverage service personnel and also you can say qualities of a service personnel. When we look at professional and hygienic appearance, now here it is we look at personal hygienic and the way you have the appearance. Like men should be well shaven and also they should be clean. Women should wear light makeup. And the men should be well shaven. Then use the other sweater, not strong. Uniform should be cream. Then if you have cups and bands, it should be covered. Cups and bands should be should be covered. And hair must be well creamed. Yeah. Then another attribute or qualities we have knowledge of food. Knowledge of food and beverage and technical ability. You as a service personnel, you must know all the items included in the menu and drink list so that you can be able to advise the guest on what to take, the accompaniments and also the garnishes that are being provided during serving of food and drinks. And also you must be able to know that the how to serve the, the guest correctly. Use of the correct equipment at the right service time. Serve all the service method. You must know all the equipment that are used in serving in every items or drinks. Then, another attribute we have punctuality. You must be punctual. If you continually come right at in your establishment, that means you don't have you don't have interest and respect to their establishment. Maybe you are not even willing to work. So you must be punctual. Then another, number four, local knowledge. For the interest of the customer, you must know about the area you are working in so that you can be able to advise your, your guest on the forms of entertainment, entertainment that are being offered in that area and also 
the means of transport. You may find that there is a guest who doesn't know where to take maybe a vehicle. And you are the person to advise that person the route he or she can use to reach at the place he or she is going. So you must have a local knowledge of the area you are working in. The other one is personalities. Personalities. Now here, the staff must have a good humor. You should have an even temper. And you should have courtesy to your guests. So be courteous. Number six, another attribute you have, attitude to the customer, attitude. Number six, attitude. You must have a positive attitude when dealing with your guest. should have positive attitude. When dealing with the guest, then the other the other attribute we have memory. You should have a good memory so that you can be able to remember the likes and dislikes of the guest. And also, it will help you to remember where a certain guest normally sit. Maybe you may find that there is this customer who normally sit at the corner. So whenever you see him or her, you will be able to know where he or she has seated. And also, you will know. Like maybe this customer normally like a black coffee, the other one white coffee. Maybe he or she does not like the the espresso coffee. So you must know the likes and dislikes of the guests, and that's when you have a good memory. Then the other one is honesty. The staff must have trust and respect to the establishment and also to their customers. And this will help to ensure efficiency during working time. Then the other one is conduct, number nine is conduct. Now here, Rules and regulations must be followed for the establishment. Those rules that are laid down by the establishment must be followed. Then you must show some respect to the senior member. So, rules. Must to be followed. Then number ten, attribute number ten, we have complaints. No, here you are not supposed to argue with the guest. Whenever there is a problem, you are supposed to. 
report that if you are, uh, we are unable to solve that issue with the case now you are supposed to report it to your managers or to the senior member so that he can be able to handle that and solve that problem so never argue with them with your customers then lastly we have contribution contribution of team you you as a food and beverage service staff you must work as a, a team to ensure that you are working well help the other if you find that he has he or she has a many guests to serve kindly you're supposed to work as a team so that you they, you ensure that there is efficiency in working and we will end our today's lesson at that point thank you